Welcome to EdTech Hustle. My name is Rich, and today I'm going to show you how you can take a YouTube video and automatically convert it into a PowerPoint presentation in just seconds using the website Magic Slides. Let's go ahead and get started. The website is Magic Slides. You can find it at magicslides.app. As you can see from this graphic, you can take text, a YouTube video, or a PDF file and automatically convert it into a PowerPoint presentation or Google Slides presentation. So it is a Chrome extension. You can install it right over here at the top of the screen, but you can also use it independently. Just go to magicslides.app slash app. Okay, so here I am. I am at magicslides.app slash app. The first thing I want to do is to select what I want. You can see there's options to do a blank presentation. You can summarize text or we can just use this option, which is a YouTube video. And the first thing I need is a YouTube video. So I'm going to select this one about Dr. Seuss that I made about a year ago. I'm just going to take this and I am going to copy this video link. Now I'm going to go back to magicslides.app. I'm going to paste that link. And the next thing for me to do is now to select the number of slides. It looks like with this plan I have, I can only go up to 10 slides. You also have options to add an image for each slide or to add AI images for each slide. So you can pick one of of those two. I guess I'm just going to check both of them. Let's go ahead and see what happens. You'll see it takes about 40 to 50 seconds for your presentation to be created. Okay, so as you can see on the screen, my presentation is finished. It made about an eight slide presentation. This was kind of a shorter video. Now, a few things that you'll notice, uh, it did include a picture of Dr. But the information on the slide has nothing to do with Dr. Pepper. So you'll probably find that some of the images that, that Magic Slides is able to come up with is not exactly accurate or what you want. We can change those later. Okay, the next one talks a little bit about an art background. It's got paints there, which, which I guess are okay. You can see some more information. It talks a lot about writing. It has an image which I don't think is really associated with the text on the right and the left. You can see the the text on the slides, these bullet points, I think is pretty good and is relevant to the story. Here's a great photo that I think would fit in terms of teaching children how to read. You can see the slide about legacy. Eh, again, I'm not sure if that's something I would want. And then there is a conclusion at the end. So you can see the information. It did a really good job uh, paraphrasing and summarizing what this video is about, but those images are not quite what you would want if you were doing an actual presentation. But guess what? That's okay because I can scroll down and I can select this button that will allow me to download this PowerPoint. And here it is. You can see this is the same PowerPoint. Of course, I'm going to want to go in and change the background. One of the things I can do if you use PowerPoint from this design tab, go all the way to the right, select designer and PowerPoint is going to give you a number of different options to change the background. So I have one more credit. What I'm going to do now is take this video, which is the full plot summary of The Great Gatsby. I'm going to take this link and I will copy it. Let me go ahead, I'm gonna go back to Magic Slides. This time I'm going to paste my info, total number of slides, let me go ahead and do 10 and I will generate this presentation. Let's see if this one is any better. Okay, and here we go. Does this one look familiar? Because it looks almost identical to the last one that I did. So I think what you'll find again is that Magic Slides does a good job being able to take the information and summarize it in bullet points for your presentation. What I'm not seen it doing as good of a job of is associating an image that might fit with the text. So you can get an idea here. All the parts seem like they're pretty good. This is a very literal photo. You can see the character's name is Daisy. So of course we have pictures of daisies, makes sense, right? So this might be a good program to just check out if you need to do a quick presentation. Here is the pricing that you can see on your screen for free. You can do three presentations a month. There are limitations to each plan, just know that. But I find that it's not going to create the entire presentation for you. It will kind of give you a start and allow you to finish it the way that you want. So thank you so much for watching this video on Magic Slides. If you have any other questions, please leave them in the comments section below. And if you like this video, I would love it if you could subscribe.